So did all of this prepping to our RV do anything? Let's go find out. Now, thank you, Gary from Junk to Gems, uh, for coming over to help us level the RV and get um, this ready for wrapping all this plastic. It's cold out here. It, it's in the teens. It actually, it feels like No snow yet, but it's coming. So one of the, the last videos that we did talked about getting all this prepped. And I thank you, Gary from Junk to Gems for coming over to help us level the RV and get um, this ready for wrapping all this plastic. It's cold out here. It, it's in the teens. It actually, it feels like only one degree. <laughs> so we're almost in the, the negative cold chills. So I know it's going to be a little cold uh, with the wind. And going through, here's the cat. You want to go inside? Look at her. Beastie, you want to go inside? Huh? You want to go inside? Uh, nope. Yeah. Come on. Come here. Kitty, kitty. Come on. Go inside. Beastie, come on. Uh, she decided she was like i don't want to go into the rv it's cold i know where my food in my bed is <laughs> so we're yep the old shed room so actually mom and dad are over in the rv watching tv playing legos with the kiddo go so i'll let her in and then i'll come out here and go look which they're staying nice and toasty in here because it actually got two um heaters obviously we still got to put a roof on uh that hasn't changed but mom actually went around the entire bottom and covered in uh, this whole bottom let's go take a look so uh they said it it, it really helped a lot uh, so they she covered up the, the whole thing all the way around. And it, it definitely helped, you know, with the, the water and wind. Well, more wind, obviously. I'm saying water because I've seen water. <laughs> and this is actually, all of this right here is coming out of the ridge. So we actually have, I think there's a little stream or live water that comes out from right around in here and then it just starts going down and yeah there's there's an old toilet that we had originally brought over for mom and dad to use they decided not to use it but it's still just sitting outside uh, we are going to get them a little rv because right now this this room here it does not have any type of uh, toiletries so um, for now they're just at nighttime having to use a bucket until you know we can get the funding for an rv or some type of a portable toilet i'm gonna come back around to the front i need to go grab my coffee because whoo cold <laughs> I, I switch my hands a little more often but i do want to take you guys over you know that this is the best way to to look at your land look at your homestead you know look at the the different things is during the different extreme weathers. So if you don't know what your land does, so I got my coffee. If you don't know what your land does during extreme heat or extreme cold or extreme rain, snow, uh, any of those things, right? Extreme winds, that's all stuff that you want to look at. Because for example, uh, let's look at this. It's gonna be a little windy, I apologize. Uh, this camera doesn't, I cannot use the microphones. Uh, but this tree right here is leaning 
So I used to have the little white trailer that sat over here, but this tree, I need to get this tree down because it's leaning so bad it's dead. It's a dead tree. And because of higher winds, that thing just leans and leans and leans even more and more and more. And right now, almost this entire tree is a widow maker. So we try not to walk uh, through there and then until I can get it cut down. But it's one of the reasons why I moved that trailer. And then obviously dad keeps his truck far enough away. And then coming over, obviously with having a pond, right now we don't have any animals and stuff other than dogs that we have to take care of but uh, gladys and the girls they her our oldest girl checks up on them uh, often so um but we don't have any other animals currently that we're taking care of but this is all stuff that whenever we do start to get animals you know we we want to have animals in this area and knowing that the pond freezes over knowing that some of these other things happen in our property during extreme weather events is going to let us know, Hey, this is stuff that we're going to have to address whenever we get other animals, i.e. goats, hogs, pigs, whatnot, uh, chickens, ducks. You know, th these are all things that we're wanting to get. And then obviously uh, cold extreme weather like this, is preventing a lot of you know the buildings a lot of the, the stuff that we need to get done around here so it, it is what it is right we we do the the inside stuff i'm coming out here and doing more of a, a vlog style video for you guys just so you're aware of what's going on and where we are at we're doing good um water's frozen though i don't currently have water in the rv and we'll get back to, over there to that. So stick around uh, during this video and we'll go check out to see, hey, what's going on with the water in the RV? Because I don't know. I just know that it's frozen. Water's still flowing down here at the creek, coming across the bridge. But it is frozen in a lot of areas. But. It's still moving quite enough to where some of those faster areas are not frozen. And then off they come up here to the front. Uh, nothing really going on up here. We don't got nothing to do up here. All right, water buffalo. If you guys have missed out, we used to live up here. So if you're new to the channel, we definitely appreciate you guys being here. Uh, we would ask that you share us out, help us grow, continue to follow our journey of what's going on because we got a cabin site for mom and dad going on over there. If you guys have missed out on that, then we have another cabin site that's going to be coming in over on this side for my mom and grandma. We've also been clearing the, the front fence area, getting that done, but... All of our projects, everything that we're doing right now is all outside. Everything is outside. So, uh, yeah, we could be out here working. But just in the, the time that I've been going to the RV to up here, I've only been outside maybe three minutes. And my fingers are already starting to tingle uh, just from the extreme cold out here. So, uh, we don't really have the equipment. We don't have the stuff that we need for these uh, Arctic blast events that are coming down. I'm just glad, and we live in the South, you know, Arkansas, uh, where we live is considered the South. <laughs> and it feels like we're living in the North. So, which I know, I know um, people from the North can be like, no, it's a lot colder here. Well, yeah, I get it. I used to live in Rhode Island when I was in the Navy. So I I understand how cold it can get, trust me. And, um, but when you're acclimated to a certain weather thing, you know, like majority of my career in the Navy was in Virginia. Well, Virginia is a coastal state. 
obviously your a lot of the stuff there you know you're blocked by the App Appalachians and uh and stuff but it still snows there almost every year it gets cold every year <laughs> and you know i was still kind of used to that so when you are here it gets cold like this i'd know and then it lasts about four days and then we'll be back into the 40s and 50s uh, during the day so but anyway let's go over here and let's see what's wrong with the rv oh yeah all right so coming over here now i do know that we have a, a few different heaters okay so i know this looks like a jumbled mess it is <laughs> uh, orange line here that goes to a heat lamp inside our well house so coming over here heat lamp is still on step in here oh yeah it's nice and toasty in here so i know none of this stuff is going to be a problem and then we have another uh, heat source for the hose so and then obviously having the spigot here right you can always test water all right so you got water and that drains out so obviously that lets me know that nothing there is frozen but not having water to the rv so we have this wrapped obviously um we can always change this to get some of the the black you know actual insulation foam to put around this and then wrap it with the plastic uh, just to keep it nice and sealed up but this actually has one of those heat um uh, strips in it and that comes over to here right we have two of them they're plugged into this green and they go down and then into the hose so and i i can feel that the warmth of that so um obviously that comes all the way down which i'm pretty certain that if we're frozen anywhere it's gonna be underneath the rv but i don't know because right now i don't feel any heat at all uh, up in there i can feel the heat uh, so who knows maybe the hose did get frozen but it just couldn't keep up with these extreme temperatures. <sighs> Other than uh, doing what we've already done, you know, of wrapping the RV. Yeah, I, I know we can get the foam board. Foam board's expensive. You know, we uh, don't have that in our budget currently. And then uh, getting some more of the the cheaper type foam to put around the hose yeah we could probably afford that uh just to see if you know we we get to where the the hose is not um getting frozen and then you know just get little pieces here and there that way we can better insulate the bottom of the rv um that way we're not freezing uh, underneath there so this this rv though it does have a whole thing on the, the entire bottom is it's just like the little uh, plastic corrugated it looks like cardboard um panel that's underneath there and it that's supposed to be for the like the extended seasons you know package of this rv which to me i, I think it would it would handle the cold a little better than what it does but it doesn't so anytime that we're getting down to, you know, even into the teens, uh, our water is freezing. And I know that it, it it will start to freeze somewhere underneath the RV, like right in this area. And it's it's where I've actually had to open up that panel uh, underneath to do a repair to our shower because the, the shower is basically right there uh, next to the main bedroom. 
So I'm pretty sure that the water, if it's gonna be freezing and not flowing, then that's where it's gonna be freezing at. So we, I'll get down there uh, once it gets a little warmer, just to make sure that we're not damaging anything, that we don't have any leaks or, or such. But we might not be able to shower tonight. So that's gonna kind of stink. But there you go, that's us still living in an RV, doing the, the RV life. And it's not working out so well. So <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully we'll be a little more prepared next time. But we are actually looking at getting rid of this thing and getting into something else. So if you wanna to continue to follow that journey and see where we're going, then we have another video here you can always check out. I have the playlist here to continue to follow the entire journey. It's greatly appreciated. Icons up at the top make it easy to subscribe both here and to our side channel, which is daily vlog, a little more behind the scenes type stuff. And then last but not least, always thank a veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.